We just ordered some quarter midget parts from Nervo and here we are opening the box. We're supposed to have a tail cone and some body panels for the car we're putting back together. And then later in this video we're going to show you how to cut a tail cone. Got them nice and packed up. There's our hood, looking brand new. None of the holes are in it, we'll have to cut all those in it. And then there's the tail cone. Again, we're gonna have to cut all the holes in it. And what else we got in here? We got a new visor. And we got a new side panel. There's our new visor, flip it over. It's got a double thickness metal. And then we have our last piece, which is our side panel, the hood panel. We'll have to cut the holes in that and put the Zeus's in there. Today we're gonna to cut some tail cones. We have an existing tail cone. We have our new tail cone that's been painted. And we have the body in white tail cone. And we're gonna to have to cut the bottom to match the profile to clear the bumper. And we're gonna to have to drill the holes in it. And we're gonna show you how to do that. These are fiberglass pieces. So the backside just looks like that. And they cut pretty easy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tape our outline of where we want to cut this tail cone. And then we're going to go into this corner here and we're going to spot a hole. We've got our drill bits over here, our drill with the uh, bit on it. And we're basically going to spot it right here and on the other side so then we can cut into the radius. Now that we have our hole spotted in, we're going to use a die grinder here with a wire fiber wheel and we're going to cut along this edge and along this edge to cut this piece out. We also have our red tail cone which is all painted so we're going to cut between the yellow and the blue line and we have that one protected more so that we don't damage the paint. We got our die grinder ready. <laughs> to the other side, do the same thing.
it over and do the same thing. We're doing this outside so we don't make a mess inside. So there's our finished cut. Here's the piece we cut out. Now we're gonna file the fiberglass. We're gonna file into the fiberglass so we don't shred the edges of it. And then we're gonna taper the edge ever so slightly. Now we got a round file for that corner. So we're going to file that outside edge. We're going to file the inside edge. And then we're going to ready to peel the tape off to see what it looks like. Tape protects the edge, it protects the fiberglass, so you can get a nice straight even cut. So that's what our finished cut looks like. Now we have our finished cut. You can see it came out pretty good. We could sand it a little more on the edge with a piece of sandpaper, but we're pretty happy with that. So we're gonna blow all the fiberglass shavings off and then we're going to scuff and paint this tail cone with our air hose. We found that using a unibit also worked just as good. We went through the top side first and then we put it through the bottom side to clean off the burr on both sides. So now we're ready for the die grinder. Again, we're going to use a file. We're going to start straightening that edge. And then we're going to file the inside and the outside edge. So now we're filing the inside edge. We've already filed a slight chamfer on the outside edge. And we're getting ready to peel the tape. looks pretty good. That inconsistency is our Sharpie line that'll wipe right off with pre-clean and that looks pretty good. Now we have a tail cone mocked up again. We have a cut with clearance for the muffler. Over here we had a problem with the interference with the shock so we cut that and then the final step is going to be to cut the attachment holes which we're not going to do because this tail cone is for a different car. And every one of these cars is slightly different. So now we're on to cutting a red tail cone.
This tail cone we did a little bit different. We taped on both sides. Same process as before. We have to be a lot more gentle. This one's a finished painted product. So we're gonna be real, we left a lot of material on there so we could file it off and keep it nice and straight. And then we'll peel the tape off in a few minutes when we're done filing. Again, we left a lot more material on this one, so it's going to take a little bit more work to file it. We want to make sure we go over our tape line, or chip the red paint. We have a lot more tape on here to protect it. We're going to file it inside and outside of it. Okay, now we're ready to peel our tape off. And now we hit a snag. And that edge looks pretty good so far. Just a little bit of glue left on there from the tape. And that's our finished edge. Looks pretty good. All right, here's our finished tail cone. We got it all set in place. We got the clips in. We got the cut on the bottom. And now clears the bumper, clears the muffler. And we're all set. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more content like this. See you at the racetrack.